Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are the VCD Golf Society and today 12 of us are playing a winter warmer at Hever Castle Golf Club in Kent, England. A beautiful parkland course characterised by a 600 yard par 5 17th and a course which contains its very own aiming corner. Stick around for that, 11, 12 and 13, some beautiful holes. Without further ado, let's get across to the first tee. One reason he has remained in the lead, a series of clutch putts. Highly respected by all his fellow pros. Has the game to win this too. Definitely, he could just be so steady, so solid. Yeah, swing beautifully. Stripes that one down the first. Four, please. Now five. Wouldn't surprise those in the world of golf if he won this today, given his game. You see him as a big threat here today, Nick. I absolutely do. I really think he has a great opportunity. Nick, here are the final round pairings. Very comfortable tee shot, about 270 or so down there. Can you see him as the champion today at the end? I, to be honest, I wouldn't have thought so. I would have thought this is a tall order. Despite topping his tee shot, Bill Kenny was able to scramble a five and he joined the leaders on two points. Next up was myself, Matt Norris, but due to a camera malfunction, my shot was not videoed. Back to one. 
oohs and ahs. Left. Four, please. Now driving. Fade off the left edge. Perfect. Wow. It's oh gone off sideways. Absolutely sideways. That went off at nearly a 45 degrees. First fairway, second shot. Club more. Losing it right. This is a par punt from the back edge. That's the way you start. Yeah. And he thinks, well, that was easy. First par of the day there for David Kelly. And there's your first sighting of me, Matt Norris, VCD Golf Society's tournament organiser. Can I just say this is my first ever attempt at playing, filming. There's a huge amount of videoing mistakes, so bear with me on that. I expect this voiceover's sound is not too good either, but I'm giving it my best shot and hopefully we can make some improvements in the forthcoming videos. Anyway, this is my attempt to match David Kelly with a putt for par. shot to put a four on the card yeah it's huge that's unbelievable that could have been lost ball no always low let's get to two well after finding the fairway with a five wood I'm hitting a six iron into the second green clubbing up for the wind I hit what I think is a perfect shot this is all over the pin unfortunately it lands about 20 yards short and I'm left with a chip on you can just see my practice putts to the right of the screen and this is my attempt at another par Have to be a nice aggressive stroke and in it goes. <laughs> Sighting player to watch, face to competitor. This for par. Let's go over to the third. Chases it off the tee and put it right where he wanted it. Next up was Bill Jones. Apologies for some bad camera work. Here's your first sighting of the overnight rain we've had. The course is very soggy, but an excellent drive from Bill Jones, as you can tell by the smug grin. Now back on the tee. At the third. Laying up with an iron. Nice abbreviated fall through, a little knockdown, long iron, and he is well positioned. All right, the final pairing has made its way through the first three holes. to four and a smart play here in the long iron there just get it in play and leave a full shot in for the second that's the key to this hole oh, 
Leaning like he's hung it out to the right. And it catches the tree and he is going to be a long way back. And he likes it, starts it down the left side with just a little bit of cut. And that's very nicely done. Confident effort. Just hit it a little too firm, and that one's not deceased. Burns the edge. To stay in the lead. Take his time. Doesn't get flustered, doesn't get frustrated. Things aren't going his way. Tough competitor. This is the club that he needs to keep working nicely if he can. Just misses too many of those short putts. For a double bogey. Try and cut it a little bit to hold it off of this log. Now he starts it there and it goes a little bit right, and yeah. he knows that he's mishit it. No, oh, no, into no. the deep stuff. And most likely from there, Nick, he's going to go to the ball drop. To six. And on the tee of the par three. Come up short of it. That's a good club short, and I don't think that helps him. Being side mad. is dead there. That's terrible there, Nick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He doesn't like it. Not a good shot at all. That's a big miss hit for him. Mm, just leaning to his right means he's pulled it. Oh boy. Well, unfortunately, I didn't video the next shot. If you remember, David Kelly pulled his tee shot to the left. It was almost on a muddy path in a terrible lie. And then this happened. Oh, nice, nice Don. shot, Don. Oh, Don. Why did not video that? Squires, <laughs> you loved that. Loved yep, an outrageous chip in. Two for four. And David Kelly was to lead by one shot after six holes. Go to 70. Wow. I don't see him do that very often. Right, right going right. right, that one. That's why he didn't like it. 
just off the green. To eight. Gathering speed. That's just there you go. Brutal speed. It's still rolling. Just not enough. To nine. He's leaning like he's left that one right. Oh boy, just misses the bunker, and that is gigantic. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, it's in the second cut, but it's not too bad. Well, great angle. Flag on that frontier. Like he just missed his landing spot. Yeah. Well, nicely hold. A pre tournament favorite from many. As we head into the back nine, it's a one shot lead for David Kelly and myself. While at the other end of the leaderboard, my dad is bringing up the rear with his worst point score in many a year. And they're on the tee at 10, the final pairing. And the all-important tee shot. Yeah, it's too far to the right. It's going to sit and it's going to make the first cut and sit way back on top of the hill. Second cut on the right side. Well, he took a big cut at it. He popped it up a little bit. From 236 yards and a marginal eye, and he elects to lay up. So if he's going to make his four, he's going to have to do it with his wedge and putter. No room for a six at this point in the proceedings. Down the left side of the fairway. So you think he takes this one on in? I think he goes about 15 foot right of the hole would be perfect. There you go. Excellent shot. Very solid stuff. Over to 11. With the driver. Perfect position. Avoid the trees. Oh, we didn't want to yeah. go long. 
and uh, hit it fat and pulled it and this is not the side to miss the green not with that whole no. location today because you're going uphill all the way and then the last 15 feet are straight down my goodness 25 yards off target to 12 and the beautiful par three oh he doesn't like it oh, no. oh it's in the oh, water no. exactly he didn't commit to what he he did not swing out did through he? it did he that was not a full shot he played a little half punch with a nine nine it's a dangerous club to ever punch a shot with back to 12 and this is a huge shot for our leading Just a smooth eight iron and not a bad shot at all. Safe shot, that's where you've got to aim. If you're protecting your lead, you've got to go long and left. Well done. I mentioned before, no lead is safe around Amen Corner. He's gone back. That could be. There's a hazard over to the left. There's a lot of trees, a lot of um, shrubbery. Wow, he was trying to hit the high fade. Beautiful shot. Yeah, that's the best you can do. So with six holes to play, David Kelly and myself had opened up a two-shot lead, but there was still plenty of golf to play. If you've enjoyed the video so far, it would be great to hear from you, so please leave a comment below, hit the like button, or even consider subscribing. Let's go to 13. Tree trouble between he and the hole from there. To 14. In the summer, that would have been fine. little tree and that hit it caught a limb to 15 oh, that's a terrific line Just fine. Actually, on one of the little local upslopes there, that's perfect. Hitting into the green. Not able to go for the green in two. Oh, nicely done. Next apart was myself from the top tier of the green on the right hand side. And he reacted to that. He's hit that one way too hard. actually putted that one from the top tier off the green. Careful.
One reason he has remained in the lead. A series of clutch putts. Has this for his par. Both of these players need to make these putts. Nope, never on mine. See if he can get the pace right. No, definitely a little slower after the rain. So after that saving putt, I head into the last three holes with a two-shot lead. As David Kelly falters, Brian Blanchard becomes my nearest challenger. With three holes to play, could I hang on for my first win in five years? Back on the tee, our leader. Just fine. On the tee with driver. Has hit a couple of monster tee shots. But this one's headed right. And he's back up in the area of the pine straw and the trees. like it down the right oh oh boy that can't be good what happened that, that, that was sitting down like a poached egg in pine needles he just that was a unfortunately the best he could do He leaked it right, and it's not an easy bunker shot. Oh, that's a brutal one. Important to find the fairway. Got some groans. It's way left. He needs some luck with the lie. Not good. Unfortunately, not much footage of the monster par 5 17th as we all blob the hole. Just Jeff Sparrow making bogey with this par as we head to the last. Our leader by two. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Boy, had to dig deep there to produce that tee shot. This from 223. And that is nicely done. That might catch the slope and funnel a little closer to the hole. Oh, wow. He flew that 20 yards too far. Boy, boy. Just snipped it off the turf. And that's a beauty. Oh. Looks very much like he's going to get away with his four. Some thrills. Get a share of fifth. Oh, and didn't want to give 
All of that good work in the closing stretch back. in the annals of the sport. That's how you win a golf tournament. 